I'm Joyce Wanjala Lay, Member of Parliament, Taita Saveta County. I'm a mother of one, four-year-old uh, Terence Lay. I wasn't born barren. I was a young mother at, at 19, and um, my son then um, passed away at the uh, age of two, two years old, through yellow fever. After some time, I had pains in, in my lower stomach. The doctor who was trying to do all kinds of tests on me was suspecting maybe I have cancer of the cervix. I'm happy because it was negative, so there are no signs of, of cancer. But meanwhile, the pain kept on going on and on. They found out that my, my tubes had blocked for some time and because they were not treated on time, I had to undergo a surgery. Once you remove your fallopian tubes as a woman, that's a, uh, you know, a hope that you, you're holding on to, to conceive uh, naturally. It was very difficult for me and uh, very difficult for my husband too. But I thank, I thank my husband then because he stood, he stood by me. At some point, he was like, you know, we have to find a permanent solution. Several visits to, to my doctor and my doctor was like, you know, the only permanent solution is to go through hysterectomy. That means all your hopes of getting a baby are done. this difficult choice that you have to make between your, your life, your health. My heart had to be at peace for me to be able to do that. So I made that decision and in 2008, I went back for another major surgery. They did hysterectomy, removed my uterus and my cervix. In an African uh, culture, people get married with, within a year. There's a lot of pressure from, from family, from friends, because they're expecting children immediately. It's sad when we talk about infertility, we always put the blame on the woman. It is a shared responsibility. We need to encourage couples to talk about infertility issues. It's 2015, as Kenyans, We've come a long way. We call ourselves a digital country. So how can we be digital when we have culture and traditions that keep holding us back? The law that is in place right now says that a woman who gives birth is the mother of the baby, full stop. We have to change this law. So let me talk about the bill that we, we have in parliament, the IVF bill. The IVF bill recognizes every woman who gets children through the IVF process are recognized by law as a mother of, of the baby and they are able to get their children's birth certificate when, when the kids are born. So we are, we are pushing for that bill to make sure that there is accessibility and not just in Nairobi, not just in Mombasa, but in every county. As members of parliament, we have to make sure that every level five hospital in the country has an IVF clinic and also has all other facilities and every other medical process so that every woman and all couples that are going through infertility issues have accessibility and also the, the cost of it is affordable.